Hello, my name is Dr. Zachary Smith, and your dog has been diagnosed with brachycephalic syndrome. So that's a big word, but essentially what this means is a brachycephalic dog are the dogs that have the squished in face. So these are the dogs that, you know, we've made them have this smaller nose so that they have that acute appearance like a pug, a bulldog, a Frenchie, those types of things. Unfortunately, when we did that, we closed down or shortened all the bony structures of the face, but all the soft tissue structures within the nose, so the nasal terminates, the, the soft palate, the larynx, all these tissues stayed redundant. So they stayed there. And with that redundancy, now you can imagine that if you add a wider area and it's already shortened in and you have these tissues that are as long as they were when the, the nose was long, we're going to get these tissues impinging on our airway and that's what we have with brachycephalic syndrome. So the most common things that we'll see with brachycephalic syndrome are the nares being narrowed. So those are the nostrils. The nostrils will be very narrow little slits. We'll have a elongated soft palate. So if we put our tongue to the top of our mouth, we can feel our hard palate. If we slide it back towards the back, it will become soft. That's the soft palate. And if you have a long, elongated soft palate, what you'll get is that tissue damp, kind of draping down into the airway as you breathe. And it can even be sucked back into the larynx, which is the voice box, and completely occlude the airway during you know, periods of increased activity, um, exercise, heat, excitation, those types of things. So, in some of these dogs, they won't have any clinical signs. They'll do great. They'll have that little snore that the brachycephalic dogs have. Um, but in a lot of these dogs, they will develop things like exercise intolerance. Sometimes they'll have vomiting or regurgitation associated with this. And um, some of them will actually go into these critical situations where they can't breathe. So what we call respiratory um, arrest or respiratory collapse. So uh, in those patients that are having clinical signs, we do recommend surgery to repair this or correct this issue. Now that being said, surgery is not going to completely make um, a bulldog into a normal breathing dog. It's just that there's not enough airway there for us to work with. But our goal here is to make them a much more normal dog so that hopefully they don't have clinical signs associated with it.